With speculation swirling and cameras everywhere, former Vice President Joe Biden will take the stage in our backyard. Tomorrow night, the famous Delawarean will be the keynote speaker for an event at Dover Downs. The first state Democratic dinner is always a who's who, but this year it just it feels a little different with the former Vice President on the outside of a crowded field full of candidates vying for a presidential run. Now, whether or not he'll announce tomorrow night, it really is anybody's guess, but we do know that the state party's grassroots fundraiser will play host to hundreds of Democrats, including senators and representatives. Now, the event is sold out, but don't worry if you didn't get a ticket. We'll be there for you covering the event and we'll bring you reports throughout the evening on social media and right here on 47 ABC. Well, news broke from the White House earlier today where President Donald Trump is maintaining his stance that there is a national emergency on the southern border. Alongside Wicomico County Sheriff Mike Lewis and others, the president signed his veto rejecting a measure that would reverse that national emergency that he declared. The president described the resolution blocking his national emergency declaration, which passed both houses of Congress, as dangerous, claiming it put countless Americans in danger. Sheriff Lewis applauded the president's efforts, telling the press on hand that law enforcement across this country are fighting the battle every single day. This is not political propaganda. We have a dire crisis on our southwest border, and America's sheriffs stand behind the President of the United States 100%. Congress has already issued a response to the veto. Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the House will vote on March 26 on a measure to override President Trump's decision. Speaking to members of the press, Pelosi said the president has chosen to continue to defy the Constitution, the Congress, and the will of the American people. Well, after a very mild to warm day today, it's still mild out there tonight. Here's a live look in Rehoboth Beach, our Morris Home Improvement Sky Cam. A quiet night as well. We were dealing with some heavy showers uh, just about an hour or so ago, but most of those showers are now pushing away from the area. Here's a look at our warm highs today. 77 in Georgetown, 72 was the high in Salisbury. 10 degrees cooler in Ocean City at 62. Right now, Georgetown, wow, you're still at 70 degrees at 66 in Salisbury, Cambridge 63 and it's 59 in Ocean City. That cold front is racing towards the region. Notice Easton, the winds are out of the northwest. That tells you that the cold front has pushed through northern parts of the peninsula. Areas that are still looking at a southwest wind, which includes Salisbury and Georgetown, warmer and the front hasn't quite pushed through. Once it does, our temperatures will begin to drop. Winds right now gusting to 25 and 30 miles per hour. Now the heavy rain from earlier and some of the thunderstorms now sliding south and east away from our area. We'll zoom in a little bit. Another little line of, of showers starting to form from Cambridge and just north of Georgetown. This is the actual cold front. Pretty cool that you can see it there on radar and that's going to continue to slide south and east, but those should be pretty weak showers. I think we're done with the thunderstorm activity. Uh, temperatures dropping into the 40s after midnight tonight and then tomorrow a much, much cooler day. Breezy too, but the sun will be out. Highs near 50. So for your backyard, we're going with 52 in Salisbury, Cambridge 50, upper 40s from Easton to Dover, 51 in Ocean City and Wallop. So here's a quick look at Futurecast. The rain pretty much done by midnight and then the sky will clear for the rest of the night and it stays clear for the entire St. Patrick's Day weekend. But then we're going to watch a clipper to our west arrive Monday morning. Could bring us a few rain showers, maybe some wet snowflakes uh, for areas north of Salisbury. And it stays pretty cool as we approach the first day of spring on Wednesday. Ryan? All right, Daniel, thank you very much. You were fantastic. We love to hear about the weather, but I think I speak for everybody when I say we're done with news and politics for for at least uh, Friday night. After the break, the sports team rejoins us for more breakdowns of the state semifinals. And we also have your top five plays. Thank goodness, sports, when we return. My name is Matt Lowe from Waha. You're watching Delmarva Sports Insider.